I'm Stephen Clary. I'm a filmmaker, photographer, and Panasonic Lumix ambassador. The S1H, GH5, and GH5S all come with a number of options to control both shutter speed and ISO. In this video, we'll take a look at both the shutter angle option as well as the synchro scan. We'll also take a look at the ISO and gain display options and explain that in a little bit more detail. Why angle? Why not seconds? Shutter angle is a way of describing the shutter speed relative to the frame rate. The term is now a bit outdated in use and harks back to the time when cameras had rotary shutters, where a disc with an angled opening would spin and let in light once per revolution to expose each individual frame. However, the terminology has remained in use until today. Like, I still use that. In a practical sense, the larger the angle, the slower the speed. All the way up to the limit of 360 degree, where the shutter speed could become as slow as the frame rate, so 1 25th of a second for 25p. At the other extreme, the shutter speed can be made quicker by decreasing the angle. The most common setting for shutter angle is 180 degrees. This is where the shutter speed is 1 over 2 times the frame rate. So for 25p footage, that would be 1 50th of a second shutter speed. 180 degree is the best balance between ensuring smooth footage that is not too blurry and is not too sharp and therefore stuttery on movement. Shooting at 360 degree would mean that the end of the blur in one frame is as close as possible to the start of the blur in the next frame, giving us the appearance of soft footage on fast moving subjects. A 45 degree shutter angle would give us the shutter speed of 1 200th of a second for 25p footage. This would create large differences between the end of one frame and the beginning of the next, resulting in rather stuttery footage. Many filmmakers utilize the narrower shutter angles such as 90 degree or 45 degree for creative purposes to give the footage a more dramatic and realistic feeling. To activate the shutter angle in the S1H, simply go to the Image Quality 2 submenu on the Video Options and select Angle ISO. There is also an option to show ISO as gain values. So, Synchro Scan. If you've ever recorded footage under fluorescent lights and found it to flicker a lot, Synchro Scan allows you to fix this. It's a mode that allows you to make minute adjustments to the shutter angle to match with the frequency of the lights or the displays in the shot. In order to do so, simply select Synchro Scan option from the video menu, Image Quality 1 submenu, and adjust the value up or down until the flickering stops. Like shutter angle and shutter speed, ISO and gain are essentially describing the same thing. ISO refers back to the film days and describes the equivalent film speed. Gain is the electrical amplification that is occurring at pixel level. With dual native ISO cameras, there are two amplification circuits and therefore two zero values for gain. The values on screen show the low and high ISOs for individual picture profiles. As you move away from these native ISOs, the gain value will go up or down. And that's the shutter angle and gain options of the Lumix series of cameras. Panasonic.